Cheers and welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. Tonight I've got a little something that I found up at Thumbprint um, liquor store or beer store. Uh, a little place up in Airdrie that's really nice. It's got a lot of craft beer up there and only craft beer. Well, a little bit of cider as well, but that's it. It's actually a, a, a nice little quaint place and they do uh, all sorts of interesting things there. Got a bunch of singles up there, so I thought I'd check it out. Came back with a six pack. What the hell, eh? So, tonight I've got something that I have not seen from this brewery before. And it is from Worthy Brewing. And it's a vanilla cream extra stout. Coming in at 7.7 .7 ABV. It's out of Bend, Oregon. And it's an American stout ale, is what they call it. Light, a lights out stout is so smooth and rich it could free you of your fear. But if you still hear things that go bump in the night, drink another. Or just have another is what it says. Interesting overall. That's, <laughs> but it doesn't say what the ingredients are. Alright, let's get this opened up and see how it is, shall we? Well. It's not as thick as a stout by the looks of things. And yeah, you like my geek glass? I got that at the Star Trek uh, thing at the TELUS Spark, the Science Center. They got a Star Trek uh, themed thing there and I wanted to go to it. So, I'm giving her she, all she's got, Captain. And that was a horrible accent and I probably offended people again. The look of it, it's not exactly black. I can partially see my finger through it. There's red hues around the edges, a little bit uh, black in the middle, but it's just, it's not fully black. Like I hold up the light and I can still see the light through it just barely. Barely a finger's worth of head, but it's a very rich head. Quite nice on there. Um, the smell. A little bit of a burnt malt smell but it smells more like an ale so you do have like a green smell a little bit of uh, weed in there hmm it smells a little sweet too not sure if I'm gonna like this or not all right cheers folks hmm Interesting. Um, you do have a uh, coffee slash roasted malt flavor on the back notes. The front notes is kind of like a, a sassafras or a, a sweeter sort of sarsaparilla kind of note, but not quite. Touch of vanilla, touch of caramel in there in a way. It almost comes off semi like a a cola flavor in the middle part. Do get these sort of the, the roasted malts at the beginning, turns into a sweet cola flavor, um, just a pinch of it, and then goes back to the roasted malts um, flavor at the end. It's light bodied though. Okay, that I'm gonna flat out say right now, it's light bodied for a stout. I do like my thick stouts. The, al the alcohol legs are not there, but, I mean, that's coming in at what, 7.7 7, I said? 7.7. 7. That doesn't taste like a 7.7. 7. Uh, not quite a stout though. I would even class this almost as a porter. It's got a light body, a little bit of burnt malts and everything, but it's too light for a stout for me. This is not what I class as a, as a stout. And vanilla cream, I don't get much of a vanilla flavor, but that might be where the sweetness comes in the middle part to make it have sort of like a cola flavor to it. Um, hmm. Yeah, the vanilla does come in the middle there. And that's why I'm getting sort of like a, a, a cola flavor, not like a Coca-Cola flavor, but something like the, the no-name brand colas. It's, um, it's just a light body that gets me. I mean, if they called it a porter, 
I totally agree. I can't, I can't agree to this being a stout. Um, or an extra stout for that matter. That's not a stout flavor to me. It's just burnt malts and something else, but a light body. That, that's a porter. That's a special porter to me. So the rating I have for this, it's good, but I, I can't put it up that high. Like 3.25, I'm gonna have to go to 3.25. I love my stouts and this, this is a little deceiving as a stout. Like I said, you call this a porter, I would agree and the marks would be so much higher. You call this an extra stout? No, I can't, I can't agree to that. I really can't. This doesn't feel like an extra stout. It doesn't have a thick body. It doesn't have a, a robust flavor. It doesn't have a thick tan head on it. It's a porter. A very, on the, on the cusp of being a stout, porter. Maybe a little bit further back to the porter side. But still, nothing I can call an actual stout. All right, folks, I still like this. I'm still gonna drink it. It's still enjoyable, but can't call it a stout. Sorry. For now, I'm PK saying cheers, stay frosty. And I had so much hope. Vanilla, stout, thickness, no. Have a good night and thanks again.